Hey guys, Mike here. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection is back for another Western Roundup update, guys. Love doing the Western Roundup. Uh, as you know, you know that. I, I love Westerns and everything, but this one, um, I just wanted to show some of the stuff I watched here recently. Um, I, got a couple, I got a couple new ones in here uh, that I've never seen. First time own of one of them and um, a, a really great box set that came out recently and i believe i believe i already talked about it I already made a video but i'm just going to briefly show it to you but anyways uh february i uh, started watching a little bit of black history stuff started watching some black exploitation stuff and um came across you know a couple of westerns i have uh that was made kind of during that time period it's not exactly a black exploitation western or anything but it does have three guys in it that were uh superstars at that time uh jim brown uh fred williamson and uh jim kelly uh but this movie also has a uh, lee van cleef in it uh, but this is a four pack uh blu-ray thing i got from uh, timeless media um anyways but yeah i watched um here it is and i, I watched uh, take a hard ride which is uh, pretty cool, actually. It's it's pretty cool. I mean, Fred Williamson, you know, he's chomping on the cigar the whole time, like always, and stuff. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. It really is. Um, just some. Uh, it's very. Uh, I think I think it moves along pretty good. It's very uh, very well paced and stuff. Uh, this time, Lee uh, Lee Van Cleef really doesn't get. You know, most of the the star of it he's he's definitely fourth build he's he's this time he's a bad he, he's not a bad guy he's like a bounty hunter he's tracking down this and that and gold and it, it's a great movie you know you you've probably seen it already and stuff but uh, yeah take a hard ride um pretty cool this one this one also has a uh, rio conchos on this uh, which is um I believe that came out in 64 and it's got the last hard men and uh butch and sundance on here so yeah if you run across this one this is a really cool release uh everything looks good on this and uh this is my only uh, copy of rio conchos and take a hard ride so but yeah i'm satisfied with that i always come back to that set uh next up this i uh, got in a trade package from carlos eastwood for life uh this is a german release from uh, koch media and um I'm a pretty big fan of Juliana Gemma, the uh, Italian spaghetti western actor and stuff. And there was a few movies that um, I needed to kind of, you know, kind of complete a little bit of it. Some of his more notable, better movies and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I picked up uh, Silver Saddles from uh, 1978, and uh, it's famously uh, directed by uh, Lucio Fulci, who's known for all the kind of grindhouse and all the grindcore and uh, slasher type movies and stuff but he also did a few really pretty rad westerns also which um which will be in this other box that i'll show you in a minute but yeah this is pretty cool it's all in german of course uh, it's got the english um actually i think it's got english dub and no it's just got english dub but yeah it's a pretty good movie it's not the best i mean y you know it's but again he was doing these late uh late era spaghetti westerns at that time i mean there this there's, it was about to peter out completely uh, and he did this and like california and stuff like that but yeah uh, overall I, I saw this on tv streaming and then i watched this but it's i, I still feel like i don't remember the movie that good you know and stuff so I, I'm, I'm gonna re-watch it again um so yeah so anyways uh, i'll just go ahead and uh, draw some attention to lucio fulci uh, for this set, this is the right set, right? Yes. Okay, so this came out months ago. Everybody's probably got their copy now and everything. But this is the uh, Arrow box set of Savage Guns. This is the uh, third edition in these like uh, Western classic series that they're doing, mostly spaghetti westerns and everything. But uh, there's a really just raw movie, man. Uh, the Four of the Apocalypse is on here and Lucio Fulci. Uh, directed that and uh, whew, that that's an experience it's got the great Fabio Testi in it too uh, but yeah just kind of you know that one and that one to the you know more to me 
the few westerns he made and stuff, and th those are good. But yeah, the Ford of the Apocalypse much better than Silver Saddles, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I already talked about this box set in detail before. It's got uh, I Want Him Dead, uh, the long-awaited El Puro to finally come to some kind of video, and uh, The Wrath of the Wind. And um, I'll be honest with you, I haven't watched The Wrath of the Wind that much. Uh, I think I've watched it briefly and then just kind of watched the bonus features and that was it on it. But overall, a great set. I think each one of these, they put them out and there's always that one you don't like as much. And that, that would be that one. So yeah, Savage Gun set. Now this one, uh, you know, this is one of those ones you find at a charity shop, a Goodwill or something for like 50 cents and stuff like that. And I was like, shit, I've never seen this one before. So I picked it up. This is a little old movie called Alvarez Kelly. And uh, it's got uh, William Holden and Richard Widmark, which are two not strangers to the Western genre, two of the best uh, parts, but... Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, story of a renegade adventurer, uh, Alvarez Kelly, who uh, gets caught in the middle of the Civil War with no loyalties to either North or South. So uh, Kelly is hired to drive a herd of cattle from Mexico to the Union Army in Virginia. However, along the way, he is captured by Confederate Colonel Tom Rossetier, Rossetier, uh, played by Richard Woodmark, who persuades him by shooting off a finger to deliver uh, the cattle to the starving Confederates in Richmond. Um, at a bridge leading to Richmond, the Union Army attacks and a bloody battle ensues in which Kelly risks his own life to save a Confederate officer. Uh, in the end, Kelly's fate once again uh, lies in the hands of Colonel uh, Ross, Ross Seer or something like that, played by uh, Richard Widmark. So yeah, this was a uh, movie made for Columbia Columbia Pictures, uh, produced by Saul Siegel. Saul Siegel did a lot of good stuff. Uh, directed by Edward Dimitrik, a great director. Uh, it's also got uh, Janice Rule in it. And that's about it. I don't recognize the other ones. But yeah, pretty good movie. It's a big widescreen movie. Uh, hour and 49 minutes. And uh, you see this one on a lot of those like four-pack editions or like, you know, the multi-pack sets you can buy and stuff like that and and everything but th this was like 50 cents and i picked it up but yeah pretty good i mean it's it's better than average but not so memorable where you just want to watch it all the time you know but uh yeah pretty cool a lot of uh kind of civil war action type of stuff and then finally guys this is from that company hollywood scrap heap i've talked about them a lot on my channel uh and this one also stars William Holden. And uh, another thing I got this for was William Bendix. I just love that guy. I, I love him more and more as the years go. His his teamings with uh, with uh, Alan Alan Ladd, all those movies they did together and stuff. But he's in this. He teams up. He's with uh, William Holden, and I think he does a great job. This is a, a great little movie uh, called uh, Streets of Laredo, and. Uh, this is 1878 Texas. Uh, cheerful outlaw buddies Jim, Lorne, and Wahoo rescue spunky orphan Ranny Carter from rustling racketeers. And then are forced to separate. Lorne goes on to bigger and better robberies. While Jim and Wahoo are at first reluctant. Reluctant. Uh, maneuvered into joining uh, the Texas Rangers. And for friendship's sake, uh, the three try to keep out of direct contact, contact uh, but the showdown begins to look inevitable. And Rainey, now grow, grown into a lovely young womanhood, just uh, chose between Lorne and Jim. So, uh, yeah, Mona Freeman plays this... Um, gosh, what did she... Oh, the orphan. Yeah, the, the supposed orphan. Uh, but she's not a child. It's like she's old enough to be an adult, but she's an or I don't. It, it don't matter. But anyways, really cool. Uh, it's it's a uh, nineteen from nineteen forty nine. It's all color. I believe it. Yeah, Paramount released this, and uh, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, check check this uh, guy out on eBay. Uh, look this movie up, and then go to the seller because it's always this guy. 
and um, his he's got a ton of these westerns and different movies. He's got different genres too, but they're all these. A lot of good love put went into these releases, and the, the prints always look so damn good that I don't know how he does it. So there you go, Streets of Laredo. So that's it, guys. That's that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Get a little hot in here, uh, but yeah, I wanted to show those to you. Um, yeah, Streets of Laredo. I really did enjoy that. Uh, it, much better than Alvarez Kelly, in my point. I guess I enjoyed it more. But yeah, but let me know in the comments what you think and all that. Give me a uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my other videos and stuff. So until next time, partners, I'm going to ride out and uh, rustle up some more Western movies to watch. So uh, until next time, guys, stay frosty, watch good movies. <laughs>